So over here, you can see that I have a particular shape right here. You can go around and disable out the color if you want right here, just like this. And over here, another thing that you can actually add in are the border. So I can go around and choose around the border color as I like right here, and the border color will be applied. You can also go around and choose a different color for the border as you can see right here, like black or red or yellow as you can see, or blue right here. So once I do that, I can also go around and change around the pixel size of the border right here and change around the border right here just like this. So you can see that that is what you have. The stroke uniformity, you can go around and enable and disable it over here as well. You can go around and disable out the border right here or re-enable out the border. So that is what you have. Apart from that, you can also go around and add in a shadow and you can go around and change around the offset. I'm using my scroll mouse button right here to go around and change around the offset right here and change around the blur over here as well. So this is what you have. You can go around and change around the blur level over here as well and change around, let's say for example, the greenness level as well and get the shadow effect as you want. So that is what you have as you can see. And that is how you can work around with border and shadows. And you can go around and disable border and shadows if you want, and even disable out the color as you can see to make it transparent as you can see, just like that. And that is how you can work around with border and shadows and even enable and disable um, those elements inside a vector. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.